performing a daily QA on the MRI. First we power on the device. It's going to run through its diagnostic tests. Computer just kick on. Here's the monitor starting. Here's the camera of the inside of the magnet board. We're going to go set the 14 inch cubic cow device up. Looks like it's already set up and in place. Once we press the projector button, it will illuminate the lasers down onto the QA device. We will line up the crosshairs. Auto in button. Which I'll get a close up since I can't get too close to the magnet. Keep shutting off my camera. We're going to press the we're going to press up. We're going to press auto in. It's going to go all the way to zero. It's part of our check is to make sure it zeroes out. And as you can see, the cube is inside the magnet bore, which is filled with water. We're going to close the door. Pressurize the seal with the magnetic lock. Here we're still running through diagnostic checks. As you can see, it's showing our software version, our peripherals, it's checking the system table, the system startup checking systems log, it's removing the old temporary files, it's mounting the disk, image disk, and deleting any raw data that's previously there. So we'll just wait for it to boot up. Okay, it's checking the DVD directory, the ups, graphics card, the registries, and this is the splash screen, which we have the vintage Titan.
here we're at the patient screen so that we can do the daily QA to begin the daily QA we're going to click this daily QA button right up here in the corner And then up here in the top left corner, we're going to click Daily QA for Axial, Sagittal, Coronal. We're going to click the first one, which is Axial. Pop-up box pops up, says, please set up QA Phantom with whole body coil. Press OK. Right now it's acquiring the image. As you can see we have 50 seconds left. We can also view the log for previous daily QAs as well as noise and center frequencies and helium levels. Show right here. Here is the helium level right now. It's at 56 percent, 57 percent. Okay, it has finished scanning and as you can see here we have today's date plane which was axial we measured the signal to noise ratio which should be between 50 to 160 which is good the noise the RF level which is 56 receiver gain the center frequency which is 63.8 the helium level 56% as well as the gain and the status down here which lets us know it's good or if it fails.